Hey, it's Grady, Twin Creek Audio, and today I'm going to be mixing a Southern Rock track on the soundtrack's Topaz. So let's get into the setup, and then we'll get into the mix. So obviously today we're going to be using the soundtrack's Topaz recording console to mix these tracks. I've assigned all the individual tracks from the DAW to the tape returns on the soundtrack's Topaz, and as you can see, I have the flip switches down to bring those tape returns through the main channels down here. In this case, it's 1 through 16. I'll label that in just a second so you can see what all these are. Okay, here's all the channels labeled. Kick, snare, hat, tom 1, 2, and 3, stereo overheads, room mic for the drums, bass guitar, Guitar 1, Guitar 2, Guitar Fills. We've got an empty channel right there. I guess we could go ahead and pull that fader down. And then our Stereo Keys, which in this case is an electric piano played by Heath Rogers. So that's all the channels I'm trying to mix. Soundtrack's Topaz console. Before I go any farther, I have to just say what a good console this has been. This has been a really good sounding, reliable little console for me. In the last six years, I've probably recorded and mixed or used this console in some capacity on 11 or 12 full length album projects and numerous other smaller projects. It's just a great little console. So today I'm using three outboard compressors. I'm going to use the LA Audio 4x4 right here on the master bus of the Soundtracks Topaz. I have the Symmetrix 501 rack compressor on the snare and I'm using the DBX 163 on the dirtier guitar that's going to be panned more to the right side. So I'm going to start out with the settings on the LA Audio 4x4. I'm not using the gates, obviously. This is on the master bus. I've got the ratio at about 3. The attack at 5 milliseconds for this track. Release is at about 1 second. And the input and output are just set up to gain stage properly with the inserts on the master channels on the soundtrack's Topaz. And then we've got the Symmetrix 501 here. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be because I haven't dialed it in yet. Um, probably some kind of a fast release, slow attack to let the attack of the snare come through. This is just the settings from the last mix that I did, so I might be adjusting that here in a minute. And then the DBX163X is more to the more side because the track's not really loud, so it's only really compressing a little bit on that heavier guitar track and the rest of the stuff is not being compressed in the box except for the bass guitar I just have Rhea comp on the bass and nothing else really is getting any compression in the box or on the out or from outboard gear I'm not using any kind of reverb none in the box and the Rev 500 here in the rack is turned off but I can turn on the lights so you can see the rack well it's really doesn't matter with the studio lights I'm using to shoot the video you can't it really doesn't make any difference but we're gonna use the three outboard compressors that's pretty much it and it's an instrumental track uh, if I had a vocal I'd probably put some kind of plate reverb on it but we're just gonna go with this for the purposes of this mixing demonstration video here's a close-up on the EQ settings on the kick drum I'm boosting about two decibels or so worth of about 2.8k because that's where my Ludwig kick drum sounds the best and then I'm boosting a little bit of 80 Hertz and I'm pulling out some low mid frequency probably around 350 or 400 and pulling out a decibel of that the snare drum I've got a little bit of 240 added into it so I'm boosting a little of that and boosting a little around 7k to give it some snap the hi-hat I'm also boosting 7k and a little bit of the 12k and I'm pulling out a little bit of 80 Hertz these other ones are not on these other EQs are not on 
There's no EQ until you get to the bass and then one of the guitar tracks. I have the EQ on on both of those. I'm boosting a little around 700 hertz on the bass track and a little bit of 12k, 12 kilohertz shelving. And that really is about it. On the clean electric guitar, the cleaner electric guitar, I'm boosting a little bit of low mids. And that's it. The other two knobs are set flat. So not using a ton of EQ, not using a ton of compression, just getting the sound of this analog mixing console. So I really don't have to do as much when I'm mixing through the Topaz as what I have to do inside the, the DAW to make it sound right. You know, I can add a touch of EQ and that kind of stuff just for, for what I hear that it needs. But just running everything through the console and out the master bus, even with just three compressors on things and not a whole lot of processing in the box either, it still sounds good going through the Topaz. Let's try to adjust the snare compressor. Just added a little bit of 7K with the Topaz EQ and then boosted a little bit about 240, 240 hertz. There's a guitar fill at the end that I have to remember to turn up a little bit. I have all the tracks that I'm not using or all the channels on the console rather for tracks that I'm not using. They're all muted. So let's get on with this mix. Let me get my remote control. Magically, I have the transports remote, so let's mix this song. I'm not sure how good that sounded. I'm using NS10s to listen to this on. They're over here, which is not the ideal spot for mixing, but I can hear them pretty good because this is kind of set up over to the side of my main rig, which is over there. Well, I'll show you the monitors. See, there's the NS10s and my KRKs over here, and I am monitoring on the Yamaha NS10M Studios. But I'm mixing through the Topaz, which is over here. Well, that was fun. I had fun mixing the Southern Rock track here through the Topaz. And I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts on what the sound was like and everything in the comments. Leave a comment on other stuff you'd like to see on this channel. And don't forget to check all the links in the description for music and different ways that you can download songs, buy t-shirts and merchandise, and help support this channel and also please don't forget to like and subscribe i hope you all have a wonderful day night evening weekend weekday hour minute second nanosecond whatever it is you're having have a good one and again please don't forget to like and subscribe share my channel with other people so that it will encourage me to make more of these videos thanks so much for watching